We are loaded up and going to try this all again. Who's ready for an RV trip? I am. Woo! Starting this year off uh, in Jiaoja, uh, staying at Reed Bingham State Park. It's about two hours north of Tallahassee uh, in a place called Adel Jiaoja. Uh, you may remember uh, Adel because a couple of years ago, back in 2017, uh, the area was hit with some devastating tornadoes, killed several folks. Uh, but the community has rallied back and uh, really grown stronger since. So a big special shout out to all those in Adel. Uh, we're with you all the time. Uh, Reed Bingham State Park is an absolutely fantastic state park. The only thing that would have made this even better is if it were a little bit warmer uh, overnight. It has been uh, below uh, 30. Uh, and actually when I got up to do my hike this morning, it was about 38 degrees. Uh, the park is wide open, very, space, very spacious. Uh, lots of places to just kind of hang out and have a good time. Uh, you've got some uh, volleyball courts. You've got some putt-putt uh, golf. Really cool, you can get your miniature golf on as well. Nice. Um, you've got a, a lot of things for folks to really enjoy themselves while they're here. Uh, the sites themselves are big and wide open, a lot of pull-throughs, uh, and even the back throughs or the back in parking uh, is really easy uh, to maneuver uh, nice wide spots and uh, several places uh, to uh, shower and use uh, the restroom uh, the showers in fact really nice and big and warm which is really nice on a, a day like this but all in all a really beautiful place uh, to RV uh, as usual have to go out on a hike and the hiking trails well they're pretty good here <laughs> So we're out on a hike exploring. Uh, the hike uh, is a pretty good one today. The trails look real easy to kind of get around. Anybody can do it. I'm doing the tortoise trail, I believe. Uh, so we'll go ahead and do this. Uh, I like it when I'm out and learning and seeing a new trail for the first time. It's always really exciting. Uh, what's not so exciting uh, it is 38 degrees. It is the first part of March, and I'm not so sure why it needs to be so cold. <laughs> See, this is what's really cool about going out on a hike. Uh, you get to see nature at its finest. Uh, this looks like uh, this tree was maybe burned down at some point. Uh, but just the beauty of it, still standing, gorgeous. You can see some of it back there, all on a hike. So this is day two of my hike um, and today is a lot warmer. It's about 52 degrees, a big difference from uh, the other day when it was about 38 degrees. Um, this trail is a little bit longer, uh, still easy to get around, uh, but some beautiful scenery um, right behind me, a, a nice uh, river that you can see going through. I think it's probably all part of the big lake. I think there's 375 acres uh, worth of lake around here at Reed uh, Bingham State Park. So if you get out, you lots of stuff to do. Um, just a great time. 
I love being out uh, hiking, uh, just out in nature. Uh, it's really pretty. So if you get a chance, Adel, Georgia, uh, stop by Reed Bingham State Park. Uh, there's a lake in the middle of it, 375 acre lake, which is absolutely beautiful. A uh, lot of fishing out there if you're into that, a uh, lot of boating. Um, again, if it were warmer, it would probably be very good. And you can swim out there, which is nice. Uh, and there's a really cool dam uh, overlooking the lake there. So uh, that's fun to kind of look at as well. Uh, so Reed Bingham. State Park, Adel Georgia. Go check it out. Getting out on the road this year uh, for the very first time was um, was difficult. Uh, you may remember some of the trials and tribulations just getting out on the road. Uh, obviously, there's this sort of regular maintenance of getting out, uh, but then I had some cylinder issues and it cost me a ton of money um, to get this thing uh, up to shape and uh, ready for the road. But, you know, that's part of what RVing is about uh, and certainly part of what I'm doing with my channel, sharing all of the good, the bad, and the ugly. Um, also, the first time I went out, uh, it was up in Georgia, and uh, yeah, it was uh, colder than I had expected. Uh, overnight, uh, below 30, and uh, even when I woke up in the morning to go on my hikes and stuff like that, it was about 38 degrees. Um, but all in all, it was still RVing and I was out there and that was really special for me. So um, I just want to touch base with you guys. A lot of things coming up this year. We're going to have some giveaways. I have a couple of things that I'm going to uh, uh, give away. In fact, um, where is it? Oh, I, I have a hat someplace that I'm going to uh, give away and then I'm going to do some other things as well. Uh, going to try and travel to a lot of different places this year. Uh, show off some spots. Even going to go glamping maybe once or twice, uh, and see what that's all about. Now, to me, glamping is when you stay at a resort uh, and you have all of the fun amenities there. Uh, most of the time, I'm in state parks, and I really love that state park system, but I'm going to try a couple places this year, um, which leads me to what are some things you'd like to see this season uh, while I'm out there RVing? Um, love uh, communicating with all of those who uh, check in on the Instagram or the Facebook uh, or right here at the blog. Um, so if you've got some things that maybe you'd like to see or uh, let me try out, uh, let me know. Um, we'll see if we can get those into the mix. Um, one person actually said, why don't you try a nudist RV spot? Don't know yet. Who knows? Could be interesting at least. Uh, but all in all, uh, you know, as this uh, channel continues, I'm going to share as much as I can with you. Um, we're going to still do some great cooking, some hiking, going to show off a lot of the spots that I'm in. So a lot coming on the channel this year. We're going to do some special projects, uh, do some uh, work in the RV as well, uh, fixing some things and going through that. So you'll get a chance to see some of that. And uh, as usual, we're going to get out there uh, and see a lot of different places. That's the big goal. Uh, hopefully, maybe I can hit Lotto and then uh, just ride off in the sunset and just do this full time. Uh, until then, it's a combination of weekend warrior and uh, vacation warrior, uh, trying to get out as much as I can. So write down in the comments below if you'd like to see me do some things, try some things, uh, answer some questions. I'll do a little bit of that this year as well. Uh, but all in all, I'm glad to have you aboard. Season four, up and underway. We're gonna have some fun. Despite it being cold today, I had a really good hike and uh, that means I probably don't want to eat too heavy tonight for dinner. So for dinner tonight, we're going to do a Mexican inspired uh, chicken salad. Um, it's actually a tortilla chicken salad, uh, although it's not quite like uh, Taco Bell. You won't have a shell there, uh, but we'll have a, a tortilla. We'll have a roasted chicken on the grill and some beans to go with it. Sounds good. Let's go ahead and start making this now. The very first thing you want to do is get your chicken marinated with some nice spices. Yeah. 
have to get the chicken marinating right away. So we're gonna add our dry ingredients. We've got red a pepper. We're gonna add some garlic and pepper mixed together. Uh, I've got a little adobo there. We're gonna add some cayenne pepper, some paprika, and some sriracha salt uh, to get everything going. Next, we're gonna open up a can of chipotles in adobo. We'll use this both for the chicken and the beans later. I love using chipotles like this. You just wanna get it into your chicken. And then once it's all in, you wanna mix it up uh, and let this thing marinate for a while. Right now the chicken is marinating and you can see it right there. It'll sit there for a couple of hours. I like to get a good marinade in on my chicken before I get it on the grill. Uh, I'm also gonna use a little bit of the adobo uh, and the peppers uh, for my beans, which are also gonna be part of this meal. So the fire's ready for the chicken. Time to get that on the grill, get that going. And then when that starts, then we can go ahead and start working on the beans. So the chicken is on the grill, it is going well. It should be a couple of minutes before we're able to turn that over uh, and then cook it on the other side for a little while and then uh, take the whole thing off the grill. It'll be perfect for our uh, salad here. Uh, in the meantime, we're gonna start working on the beans. Now, I cheated a little bit in this one because this morning I made bacon and I saved the bacon grease and everything goes better with bacon. So we're gonna take our mise en place, which consists of onion, tomato, and some green pepper, uh, along with the adobo peppers that are already in the pan. Uh, we're gonna heat that all up. We're gonna add in the beans, uh, and that's how we're gonna spice up our black beans for this meal. So let's get this one started. So our chicken is done, we're gonna get it off the grill and then we're gonna take some tortillas and put them straight on the grill, toast them up, and that's gonna be the base of our taco salad. have to watch those tortillas they're gonna toast up quick everything is now ready time to have our deconstructed Mexican salad tortillas beans chicken <clears throat> this is gonna be good you have it a deconstructed taco salad uh, we've got chicken in it some beans let's go ahead and try this mmm excellent the smoky flavor of the chicken with the adobo on the grill makes it extra special and those beans with a little adobo in that as well very very good I'll put a link to how I made all of this underneath. Uh, make sure you check it out and try it. If you like it, let me know how it turned out for you as well. Hey, that's going to do it right now for me. Make sure you follow me on social media at RV Jedi and, of course, on my blog at RVJedi.com. Uh, if you get a chance to get out there, try this, chef it up, have a great time. Let me know how it turns out. Whenever you're out on the road, you don't have to eat poorly. You can eat like a king or queen wherever you are. Hey, get out there and RV. Have a great day.